Web development is the best job in the world and today I will answer all the questions you will have throughout your journey. Questions like what is and how to learn web development as well as how much you will learn and how long it will take you to become a proper web developer. Web development is the process of creating and maintaining websites. And that leads us to question number one. What is web development? Think of it like building a house on the internet. It includes planning, designing, coding and making sure everything works smoothly. First, you start with planning, which involves understanding the goals of the website. Next comes designing, where you create a user-friendly and attractive interface. Then you move on to coding using HTML, CSS and JavaScript for the parts of the website the users interact with. Finally, you have testing and maintenance to ensure everything functions correctly and stays up to date. What is HTML and why is it important? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's the standard language used to create and structure content on the web. Similar to building a house, think of HTML as the skeleton of the web page. It gives the content its structure and layout. HTML is important because it organizes content into headings, paragraphs, lists, links, images, and more. It also helps search engines and screen readers understand the content, making it accessible to a wider audience. Plus, it forms the foundation upon which CSS and JavaScript are added to style and add functionality. Without HTML, we wouldn't have a way to display text, images, or links on the internet. It's the first step in creating any web page. Now, let's move on to a more exciting concept. What is CSS and how does it contribute to web development? First of all, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's a style sheet language used to describe the presentation of a document written in HTML. Think of CSS as the paint and decorations you apply to the house. It makes everything looks beautiful and visually appealing. CSS is important because it controls the layout and structure of the web pages, determines the positioning of elements and adds colors, fonts and other design elements to make the website visually engaging. It also helps create responsive designs, ensuring websites look good on all devices from desktops to smartphones. Without CSS, web pages would look plain and unformatted. It's what turns a basic HTML structure into a visually attractive website. What is JavaScript and how it is used in web development? JavaScript is a programming language that adds interactivity to websites. Imagine if a web page could only display text and images without any interaction. That's what it would be like without JavaScript. JavaScript is important because it allows users to interact with the website, like clicking buttons or filling out forms. It can update and change both HTML and CSS, making web pages dynamic, and it enables the creation of web applications like online games and real-time chat. In short, JavaScript makes websites more interactive and engaging. What are the most commonly used programming languages in web development? So that would be HTML for structuring content, CSS for styling and layout, and JavaScript for interactivity and dynamic content. Then we have Python, often used for server-side logic, PHP, another good language for server-side scripting, and Ruby, known for its simplicity and productivity. These languages form the foundation of web development and are used in different parts of creating a website. What are frameworks and libraries and why are they important? Frameworks and libraries are tools that help developers build websites more efficiently. Think of them as pre-built sets of tools and components that you can use to speed up development. Frameworks provide a structure for your project, like a blueprint. Some examples are Angular, Laravel, and Django. Libraries, on the other hand, offers pre-written code snippets and functions that you can use. Some good examples are React.js, Bootstrap, and jQuery. A side note for the tech junkies out there, React.js is technically a library, but it is often used in a way that resembles a framework. So you might have this conversation in the future where people argue whether React is a framework or a library. Now you know the answer. So frameworks and libraries are important because they save time and effort, ensuring that best practices are followed and making it easier to manage and scale websites. How do I get started with web development as a beginner? Haha! -ha! Getting started with web development can be simple if you follow these steps. Number one, learn the basics. Start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Yep, in this order. Number two, Practice, practice, practice. Build small projects to apply what you've learned. Number three, explore resources. Use online tutorials, courses, and documentation. I will leave some good resources in the comments below. Number four, 
join communities, engage with other learners and developers for support. Starting small and gradually building your skills will set a solid foundation for your web development journey, ensuring you're not leaving important knowledge behind. What is a responsive web design? Responsive web design is a way to make websites look good on all devices from large desktop monitors to small smartphone screens. It ensures that the layout and content adjust automatically to fit the screen size. And can you guess how we can achieve that? Correct, by using CSS. Using techniques like flexible grids, images, and CSS media queries, responsive design provides a consistent user experience across all devices. What tools and software do I need for web development? For web development, you will need a code editor, and here is where you will write your code. Software like Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text are free and great to use. I personally use Visual Studio Code web browsers for testing your website and see what you actually built, like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Version control, tools like Git and GitHub to manage your code. And lastly, Google, cause every single one of us uses Google for assistance. These tools will help you write, test, and manage your web development projects effectively. What is a content management system or CMS? A content management system is a software that allows you to create, manage, and modify content on a website without needing to write code. Popular CMS platforms include WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. A CMS is important because it makes it easy for non-developers to manage website content, update information, and maintain the website. People like us, the web developers, can build the website, and non-technical people can update the content using a simple dashboard by simply logging in to their account. What are APIs and how are they used in web development? APIs or application programming interfaces are sets of rules that allow different software applications to communicate with each other. In web development, APIs are used to connect your website with other services like displaying real-time weather on your website or fetching the new web developer's video once you open YouTube. What is the role of a web developer? A web developer is responsible for building and maintaining websites. Their role includes writing and testing code, converting designs to real websites, ensuring the website is responsive and user-friendly, and fixing bugs and performing updates. Web developers work to create functional and visually appealing websites that provide a great user experience. What do I need to know and how long do I need in order to become a web developer if I know nothing? Becoming a web developer with no prior experience varies from person to person, but here's a general timeline. You will need an average of one to three months in order to learn the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, depending on how you structure and allocate your time on learning. And then you should work on more complex projects, contribute to open source, and learn about backend development if interested. In total, it could take anywhere from six months to a year to become proficient enough to start applying for junior web developer positions. Remember, it's a continuous learning process and your progress will depend on how much time you can dedicate to learning and practicing. Is there a future in web development? Are there going to be jobs? The short answer is yes. There is a bright future in web development and the demand for web developers is only growing. As the world becomes more digital, businesses and organizations are increasingly relying on their online presence. This means more websites, more web applications, and more opportunities for web developers. Now, a question that I get asked a lot. Is AI replacing web developers? AI, or artificial intelligence, is becoming an important tool in web development, but it's definitely not replacing web developers. Instead, AI is enhancing the work that developers do. For example, AI can automate repetitive tasks like testing and code generation, making the development process faster and more efficient. It can also provide insights by analyzing users' behavior and data, helping developers create better user experiences. It's also really powerful in personalizing content. For example, AI can help websites provide personalized content and recommendations depending on each user's interests, improving users' engagement. However, AI still relies on human developers to create, manage, and optimize those systems. Web developers bring creativity, problem-solving skills, and a deep understanding of user needs that AI alone cannot replicate. In short, 
AI is a powerful tool that helps web developers work more efficiently and create better websites, but it's not replacing them. What are some common challenges beginners face in web development and how can they overcome them? The most common challenges include the following, and if you stayed so far, I will also give you the solutions to them. Overwhelming information. Focus on learning one thing at a time. Find a well-structured course and follow it faithfully. Don't binge watch different tutorials from different people. Just pick a good one and stick with it until it's done. Time management. Set realistic goals and create a study schedule. Don't burn yourself out. Getting stuck with questions. It's common to hit bottlenecks and have many questions. The solution is to find a mentor or join a community of developers where you can ask questions and get guidance. You might find a good mentor in the comments below. Just saying. Another challenge is to stay updated. Follow web development blogs, forums and tutorials to keep up with the new trends and technologies. By addressing these challenges step by step, you can make steady progress and become more confident in your web development skills, learn faster and land your first job as a web developer quicker. How can I continue learning and improving as a web developer? To keep learning and improving, you need the following. Practice regularly. Build projects, even small ones, to apply your knowledge. Learn from others. Join web development communities, forums, and attend meetups. Explore advanced topics. As you get comfortable with basics, delve into more complex subjects like databases, server-side programming, and web security. And of course, stay curious. Keep exploring new tools, technologies, and best practices. Continuous learning and practice will help you grow as a web developer and stay updated with the ever-evolving tech landscape. This will put you on the top shelf when companies start looking for good employees. And now for the last question that you all eagerly wait for. How much money does a web developer earn? Web developers can earn a good salary and it varies based on factors like location, experience and skill set. On average, a web developer in the United States earns around $80,000 to $90,000 per year. Junior developers might start at around $50,000 per year, while experienced developers can earn more than $100,000 or more per year. And this is, this is gross, by the way. Keep in mind that salaries can vary significantly depending on where you live and the specific industry you work in. For example, web developers in tech hubs like San Francisco or New York might earn way more than those in other parts of the world. And there you have it. The main takeaway of today's video is to start small, keep practicing, never stop learning and don't fear AI. Like and subscribe and watch this video next to boost your web development journey. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.